Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we updated the text of the delete button based on the number of checkboxes selected by the user. Now in this lecture, we will again work on a feature using jQuery. This will help us in learning jQuery more better. So let me tell you about the feature that we're going to implement in this lecture. Right now, if you look at the books index page on the browser, then you will see that now user can select checkboxes one by one. So as a user, here in the page you can see that as a user if i want to delete all the books then what i need to do that i need to select this checkbox this 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 and so on so right now i have only 10 records okay so that's why it seems simple to select all checkboxes one by one but suppose what if i have let's say hundreds of books in the table or thousands of books or so a very long list of books okay so in that case selecting every checkbox one by one will become cumbersome and it's not a very good user experience so what we need to do in that case so in that case we can simply provide a master checkbox okay and that checkbox will act like uh, when we select that master checkbox that will select uh, all the checkboxes in the table okay and when we unselect that master table uh, master checkbox that will unselect all the checkboxes in the table okay for example if you refresh the page now you can see that this is the empty ts tag and we can add a checkbox here so when we select this master checkbox it will select all these checkbox at once and when we unselect that it will unselect all these checkbox at once okay so let's start implementing this feature so first uh, open the project in your any text editor and go to the books index.html.trv and here you can see that we have the checkboxes for the table body row and we need to do the same thing into the table header row and here you can see the empty ts tag and we just need to uh, paste this snippet here but here we need to make some changes okay why because we just need to remove this class the book select check because we added some event handling in this book select check class so we need to remove this from here and we also need to remove this interpolated id here instead what we can simply add here like books index master do not need this book data book id attribute as well why because we added this data attribute into the table body checkboxes for a special purpose because we need the ids of the books when we send the ajax request and we are getting that uh, using data attribute but uh, for this uh, master checkbox purpose we don't need this data attribute so we can remove that and we just need to make a final change here that we need to update the value of this for attribute okay because now it should point the books index master checkbox okay so here you can update this value and now you can switch to the browser and refresh the page so when you refresh the page you can see that uh, this empty th uh, or this empty th in the table header will now have a checkbox and we will consider this checkbox as the master checkbox into our books table okay but now if you select this nothing will happen to rest of the checkboxes and if you unselect this nothing will happen to the rest of the unchecked box uh, rest of the checkboxes into the books table why because we did not edit any jquery for it or we did not bind any event to this checkbox so now we need to bind an event to this checkbox so what you need to do as the next thing just open the application.js and in the application.js we need to bind uh, an event or a click event to this books index master checkbox so just copy this name here copy this and come to the application.js and what we need to do here that add a dollar sign here and then add a selector and books index master then on here click then function okay and then in this uh, event uh, binding what we need to do first you can see here that we need to set the property of these checkboxes with the property whatever we have for books index master okay so here you can see dot prop and then check and it should be true or false so what we can do here dollar this dot prop and then check okay so now properties of these checkboxes will depend on the property of this check 
this checkbox that is master checkbox books index master if this checkbox is checked then all these checkboxes or all the checkboxes with this class will have the property checked true and if this checkbox is unchecked then all the checkboxes with this class will be set uh, to uh, property unchecked or property checked false okay so now save this and switch to the browser and when you refresh the page you can see here that when you check the master checkbox all the rest of the checkboxes in the table will get selected or checked and when you uncheck this then nothing will be remained checked here okay or all the checkbox will get unchecked uh, when you unselect this master checkbox and this is the basic part that has been done now we are all set to select all books at once and delete them okay so when you click them uh, all books get selected so you can delete them but we still need one more uh, stuff to do here and that is once all checkbox in the table body row get checked and delete book button is not appearing on the dom so for now we can only select or deselect the books to be deleted but we cannot delete them actually just because the delete button is not showing so we need to display delete book button if the master checkbox is checked and we need to hide if the master checkbox is unchecked okay so we need to modify our master checkbox click events binding okay so what we can do here so we can just uh, update the snippet so first we need to define a variable that is counter so we can add let's say for counter equal to zero okay and then we need to check if the master checkbox is checked then only we will display the delete book button else and we will update the uh, delete book button text as well else we do nothing with the text of the delete book button and we will just hide it okay so what we will what we need to do here that if then dollar is dot prop checked okay if this condition is true then what we need to do here we need to update the counter and what will be the counters value in this case that uh, length of this this class okay or all the elements with this class or length and why i'm using this length because uh, look at this uh, line number 39 what i'm doing here that if master checkbox is checked then what i'm doing that we i am setting the property checked true for all these values okay so i just need the length of all these things okay and then i can simply add the line to update the delete button text so just copy this line at the line number 11 okay and just use as it is here and then we just need to call the show event on the delete book button okay so then show that's it and in the else part sorry in the else part we do not need to do anything with the counter or anything with the updating text of the delete button what we need to do that we just need to invoke the hide event on delete books button so just to replace the show by hide okay and when you save this and refresh the browser you will see that when i click on the master checkbox the delete button is appear with text delete 10 books and when i unchecked this master checkbox you can see that all the checkbox checkboxes will get unchecked and the delete book button is also disappear from the dom now let's uh, try to select this uh, master checkbox again so click on this master checkbox you will see that all the checkboxes will get selected and when you click on delete 10 books this will send an ajax to the rails controller and in that con terminal you can see that it has deleted all the books with id 1 2 3 4 or whatever the ids we have in the database for the books it deleted all the books and here you can see that now we do not have anything here that means our master checkbox is working fine and our ajax is working fine as well however such actions can be risky without any alert i mean it is possible that user might select the master checkbox by mistake and if he wants to click on the delete books then you must show some alert message if they really want to perform this action for example if you 
delete if you are trying to delete all the records then you, you can uh, display some kind of notification or alert message to the user like uh, are you sure you want to delete all the books this action is undone you will lose all the records from the database and so on and just because this gives a better user experience to the uh, external users so we must have some sort of uh, notification for such kind of risky actions okay and we will do this thing into the next lecture meanwhile please try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe